Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, and today I wanted to bring you three very easy and quick breakfast options that you can eat every day, and they are Daniel Fast approved. We're going to start with a simple, warm, two-minute oatmeal. I like to load up my oatmeal, but for this particular one, we're just going to add a few things. So to make oatmeal, you can't get much easier than half a cup of oats, and I use the two-minute quick oats and one cup of water, so we like to do the one. We're also going to add a little pinch of salt just to give it a little bit of flavor, balance it out a bit, and then pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and it's done. You can't get much easier than a two-minute oatmeal. You got fiber, it fills you up, it has good flavor, you can put anything you want on it, and um, load it up as much as you want. I always put raisins. I like golden raisins, um, but regular raisins work well. I also like walnuts. So I put about well, about a quarter cup of walnuts on there. Um, and sometimes I'll put fresh fruit like blueberries or bananas, all kinds of things you can put in oatmeal. But I always put cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon has many good qualities, but it's also just very warming, don't you think? Done. Two minutes oatmeal. Walnuts, raisins, cinnamon. On to the next one. Breakfast smoothie, which really could be eaten at any point, but I am going to be making this breakfast smoothie full of fruits and actually a little bit of vegetables too. So I'm using wild blueberries, some pineapples, some sun-dried dates, and some kale. Alright. Now when it comes to blending your smoothies, I have a high power blender which makes it so much easier. But if you don't have a high power blender, that's okay. You can use any kind of blender, it just may take you a little longer. So all of our smoothies should start with about a half a cup or so of water on the bottom, which will get the bottom spinning and uh, will help everything mix pretty quickly. I then add to that one cup of each of the fruits that I have. So I have one cup of wild blueberries. The wild blueberries are just a little smaller than your regular blueberries. That's why it might look a little different. I ran out of pineapples, darn it. And pineapples are so sweet. Um, but I just use all the rest of the ones that I had. You can always use bananas, which are extremely sweet. Um, or anything really sweet. And I had about, I don't know, about a cup and a half of kale. I had just pulled them out of the garden so they had a little frost on them and whatnot. But any green, you want a leafy green every day. I also put in about five pitted dates. Okay, dates are so sweet. And five was the um, serving. I chopped it off a little bit more water. It really depends on the consistency that you want. You can always add a dairy free milk or anything. But these are some other great topics toppings, flax seed or chia seeds, some nuts, um, other frozen fruits, any kind of green, spinach, anything like that. But look at the thickness on this year smoothie. If you like it more thick, add more liquid. If you like it less thick, add more fruits and vegetables or fruit. She's a beauty. She'll fill you up and keep you energized. And the third option is cooked potatoes, which I gotta tell you, can be used at any point in the day. I use them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And this is part of my meal prep, probably weekly. I have washed and peeled and cut in half of these potatoes. Uh, depending on the size, um, you may need to do a little more cutting, but you want to make sure that it gets cooked all the way through. I put them in my Instant Pot, pop the lid on, make sure the steam valve is closed. And I'm going to put it on pressure cook for, I believe I did seven minutes, eight minutes rather. Yep, eight minutes. Nope, nine minutes. Just step back and watch them until they're finished. Once it's done, the pressure cooker will let you know. You pop the lid off and they are fork tender. Nine minutes was perfect. If you don't have a pressure cooker, boil them or steam them. You'll get the same results. It's just so much quicker with this Instant Pot. I use these in scrambles or home fries or soups or stews. I will put them in um, just about anything. Um, today I had some with collard greens. <laughs> Well, let's remember that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's Matthew 4 and 4. I hope this was helpful. Have a great evening, everyone. Stay blessed.